Hello everyone, this is Raja here. Hope you guys are doing fine. Today we are going to discuss about Elementor. Elementor is one of the best page builder in the world and like we are going to start a series on that and this video is first of that series. In this video we are going to discuss what Elementor is and the basic features of Elementor. So Elementor as you all know is a page building tool and it allows us to build quick uh, WordPress websites. Elementor gives us a lot of uh, capabilities. It gives us uh, components and it gives us uh, which we can easily uh, drag and drop on our websites and make very beautiful web parts. So as you see in the demo of this uh, Elementor.com uh, site, uh, you can very quickly edit text, increase the size of the text. You can drag and drop a contact form, you can customize it, you can drag and drop price table, make changes, you can change images and stuff like that. And all the changes that you make, you can you can have a visual treat to that, like you can visually view uh, that how that change is affecting your page, whether your page is becoming uh, like it is it's looking good or it's looking bad or it, it is somewhere it is like uh, it's going out of the margin or whatever so it gives you a lot of capabilities uh, not only in terms of uh, the ease of uh, changing your design but also uh, by but also with the ease of uh, checking the responsiveness because it allows you to check uh, your designs in a multiple devices like a mobile and a tablet and also a desktop so without wasting much time uh, let's see how we can install Elementor in a WordPress website and then we can yeah so let's uh, come into the WordPress dashboard in this dashboard you see we already uh, have installed a plugin called Elementor uh, you can go to add new and you can search for Elementor and I have already uh, activated it. So after I activated Elementor, if I go to any of the pages, let me go to one of the pages. Let me, let me go to a sample page and if I, I'll get this option like edit with Elementor. So if I click on this option like edit with Elementor, so it will give me like uh, this nice little uh, uh, like bar over here where we have all the basic components we have uh, this uh, general components uh, we have here update section we have a preview change section we have responsive mode checking section revision history checking section so these are the typical elemental uh, we can say administrative board and like you can uh, do a lot of thing very quickly here like if I want to add a section a column here I can just quickly click on the plus sign if I want to add a single column I can select this and I get a single column over here and again I I get back and I can I can add a heading there you see it's just a drag and drop and I can just add the heading there and after I added a heading I can if I want to add a text I can just see add the text below the heading and look how, how beautiful it looks so you see just with two drag and drops I added a heading and a text and if you want to add a button you can add a button over here and you can change the alignments and you see so these are the things like you can do uh, with your uh, Elementor and you can uh, quickly update and you can preview these changes like you can update it and you can see like how it is look so you see it, it gives you such a nice uh, design and, and you, you are able to see while you are editing you are able to see that you are able to get an idea that how your page will look and it, it is a very uh, great thing like it gives you the look and feel at the time of designing and, and I think it's a great boon uh, for the designers and 
another plus point of elementor is that uh, like since it's a drag and drop you need not to know any coding to work with elementor if you are new to coding if you are new to wordpress you can just install elementor and you can think of what component you want and you can just uh, select that component and put put wherever you want and you can just go and add your images over there like if you add your images and you see you can very quickly start making things and and and, and soon all those things will be like very quickly displaying on your uh, board so you'll get an idea like if I if I just uh, stripe of this design and I'll get I'll get a nice looking picture here and if I go and check it here it looks like this so so as I go and change the things in my design board I, I also have the capability to check it uh, how it will look uh, actually on the page so these uh, are the components of Elementor but it ha also have these capabilities like it have uh, uh, this area where you can like select your default colors while you are designing a web page you can select your default for fonts from which you can quickly select your uh, fonts you have your color pickers you have this option to exit to your uh, wordpress dashboard uh, you see I love this option like it, it gives you the capability to, to see how your images will look in a mobile device or a tablet or and a desktop so you can see how, how your design is it a totally a responsive web design or is it it, it is not a responsive design so it, this is also a great capability and another thing is history so all the edit which I did from beginning to end is captured over here if I want to go back to a place where I where I uh, say added this heading like I can just select this one and you see I came back to this place and all my changes all these changes were gone so if again I, I want to go back to this change I'll click here and I'll get all my changes back so it, it gives you the capability of going back and coming forth to the version in which we want to check that what changes do we made and how it impacted our design so this capability is one which I like very very much because it helps you to give uh, the exact uh, step uh, where you have made any changes and it went wrong and you can go to that step and you can rectify that step and again uh, create a nice lit looking website so this is uh, it um, for the demo and before I wrap up I just want to tell you that uh, in Elementor uh, they have two kind of packages one is uh, the free version and another is the pro version the pro version has lot of capabilities in it it has lot of new component and it has also lot of uh, templates uh, in build with them so one thing I missed out uh, let me let me explain that so uh, in this area we saw that uh, I, I clicked the plus sign and I, I made this uh, nice looking uh, portion of the web page but there is another part say this folder you, where if I hover into it you say you will see is giving me option say add template if I click into it it will basically sh show me a one page of templates which I, I can directly import it to my website and I can use so I can just if I select this and I can ins I insert this you see I got the whole thing on my web page you see I got the whole thing on my web page with just a couple of click and then you can stripe off whatever section you don't want so basically this section of adding template is <coughs> giving you free templates which you can directly add in your web page you can stripe off a section which you don't want and you can edit a section which you want to keep 
also it gives you the ability to work with blocks like suppose I am interested in uh, some FAQ section in my website you can fill, select this FAQ section which goes well with your website you can go you can change the color you can tune it these are with available with pro packages <coughs> you can select teams so there are a lot of them and there is, is an endless list of list of uh, these blocks so the one which comes with pro packages they are much well designed and they have a lot lot of best capabilities but the free ones are also good good to use and it if you are looking for a, a good looking website uh, but not uh, like a simple good looking website then the free version of Elementor goes very very fine for the purpose so I think that's it uh, for this tutorial uh, from the next tutorial onward we will focus on the components and the templates and the blocks and how by using them we can create a beautiful web part and how that web part will make our website look uh, awesome uh, so that's all for this uh, tutorial guys uh, hope you guys like it uh, please uh, give it a like uh, that will encourage us to make such more videos if you are new to the channel kindly subscribe um, so we'll meet again till the next time bye bye